Hi there, yeah, that's right. Great and glorious Nick Dutch here, yeah, again. My search for alternative energy sources has led me into uh, making what's supposed to be a wood gas stove. Don't laugh. I know it's a coffee tin and a old baked bean tin with an, um, a jam jar lid, which I've turned upside down and cut holes out of the inside, and that's being held together by a coat hanger. But no, this is a new form of um, energy revolution type technology. Uh, anyway, that's supposed to be. Uh, been trying to like work out what these are and how they're made for a little while and this is what I've come up with literally made from crap I've had lying around the house uh, the way it works is that the outer tin sorry the inner tin which as you can see has holes around the base and holes in the base uh, that's where you put the fire in there you know put some fire lighters couple of twigs and all the rest of it start a fire going then add more fuel then, um, as that can sits inside this can, which has got a string of holes on the bottom, which allows airflow, so that the fire underneath can then sort of start going. The um, inner can then heats up. As it heats up, hot air which gets warmed by the tin and flows into these little holes here All right, that serves to ignite any gases which are coming off the burning material on the inside thus creating flames which appear to come out of these holes on the side thus giving the impression that there's um, gas coming out from you know from the between the walls of the outer tin and the inner tin but in fact, it's hot air which is helping to ignite the gases which are from the material which is burning on the inside. And it's called a wood gas stove. And apparently you can burn anything in it. There is a myth that you have to light the fire from, you know, got to fill it up first and then light it from the top and let it burn down. The reason I think that's a myth is because it doesn't make any sense and I've tried it and it didn't work. As long as you've got a fire there which eventually burns down a little way so that gases can come off the char, namely carbon monoxide mainly, which then mixes with more oxygen creating carbon dioxide and of course the flame, then you should be okay. So I'm going to try it again probably tomorrow and I've been, if you look over there, got a small pile of kindling from bits of broken wood and I'm going to play about with it. So there you go. The, um, the energy revolution made from one Turkish coffee tin or Greek coffee tin, a baked bean tin, uh, an upside and jam jar lid, and a bent co hanger. Don't use them indoors because the carbon monoxide can kill you. So, um, and also you'll probably burn your house down or your flat or your caravan or whatever. But that's it. That is, um, that's a fire. Maybe I'll have a video of it later on.